Hi and welcome to the third part of the virtual card tuning in Photoshop series where I'm going to explain how to change the paint of your car. Now there are a couple of ways to change the paint of the car but personally me I think the following way is the best way. So the first thing you need to do is uh, make a copy of the of the layer that we created to lower lower our uh, right height. Uh, so basically click or select uh, the layer, right click on it and duplicate layer. You can name it any way you want, uh, you can give it any name or just leave it as it is. So uh, on that layer selected, on our duplicated layer, go to image, adjustments and hue saturation or just press control and U on the keyboard and this pop-up window will, will come up which will give us options to change the hue, saturation, and the lightness of the color. But in order to actually set that color to our layer, we need to select this colorize checkbox. And once you select colorize, you see that uh, the entire layer uh, has uh, got the color that the sliders are set on. So from here, first on the hue slider, select the, the color that you actually want to paint the car. So let's give it a sort of a blue color. And you can also play with the saturation a bit until you find the proper color you need. And lightness, I, usu I usually leave it uh, as it is because that depends if, if the uh, actual original image is too dark or too bright. So let's give it a sort of a blue shade, a blue color, like so, and press OK. If we deselect it, you see that the layer we have uh, duplicated has the blue color. Now that was the easy part. The hard part, sorry, the hard part of the of the job is uh, that now we have to actually delete the color of the parts that do not have to be painted. So, for example, the headlights do not have to be painted. And to do that, you can select the marquee, the polygonal lasso tool and just draw a selection around the headlight like such I'm just gonna do this roughly so I can just explain how the how everything should be done so once you've selected once you've made a selection around the headlight or any part of the car that should not be painted make sure you have the duplicated colored layer selected and just press delete so basically that will delete the color from that part and show us the layer that is underneath the layer we have created or duplicated so basically you need to do to repeat this process for every single part of the car that does not need to be painted you can also use the eraser tool or press E on the keyboard just select the hardness to, to maximum and then you can start you can change the size and you can start erasing if that is appropriate for you but personally I think the, the lasso tool does pretty much a good job now once you have erased all of the parts of the car that, that, that do not need to be painted you also need to raise the parts of the rest of the image like so or you can use the the lasso tool the polygonal lasso tool and just make a, a selection around the entire car and just delete the rest of the of the image that you do not need painted so once you've done that the results will be something like this a whole new color to the car now if we see the original image we will notice that there are some some colors of uh, the reflection and of the sunlight hitting the car and on our new layer with the new paint there is there isn't any now to achieve that effect on the new paint as well you need to set the blend mode of the new of the layer that you've created you need to change the blend mode and basically you can uh, experiment with all of those because each and every one will give you a different result so for example if I go to overlay 
you see I, I got the the shades the of the reflections and the sunlight but it's not looking that well well <coughs> and if I select multiply for example it's much better but then again we have a lot a uh, lot darker color than we originally selected so you can always experiment with with these blend modes and uh, once you satisfy the result you can just use that blend mode to that layer you can always once you're given a blend mode, you can always press Control U and change the, the hue saturation again. And that will give you a better option and view on how you can set the color properly. So there we go. Now we've given it a sort of a green color to it with the original uh, reflections of the sunlight and the asphalt, etc. You can use any kind of color as much as your imagination goes. So that's all for this tutorial. In the next one, I'll show you how to tint the windows and do some other small changes and tuning to the car.